It is Manchester United 3, West Ham 0, Manchester United bursting down the bubbles, hammering down the hammers straight down to the ground to the extent that Thor himself cannot save them, cannot lift that hammer up at all. Manchester United getting the three points, getting a good performance in back-to-back, Good performances, although you know the the world situation is a bit different. But today, the youngsters again has come through, showing us that they are the future of Manchester United, and I'm just loving it. A go- double goals from Ganacho, a goal from Rajmis Hoyland on his birthday. It has been one hell of a game, one good game for Manchester United as well, especially at Old Trafford. And on top of that, a clean sheet. A clean sheet is what we need today. I'm very sure Andre Onana is happy with the clean sheet because he's like, thank God. All I've been doing is conceding and conceding and conceding. But not today, my friend Andre Onana. You have not been embarrassed. For those guys, and now let's go straight into the game because I want to talk about the first 45 minutes of today. Because the first 45 minutes was very decent for Manchester United. Although West Ham had most of the shots, In the first 45 minutes, about 13 shots in the first half. Manchester United eventually got the first goal. But we was technically in control at times, in control of the possession in the first 45 minutes. But we got the goal. And the first goal came from the birthday boy himself. Rasmus Hoyland. Rasmus Hoyland. Do you know what? I've said it before. Rasmus Hoyland, the boys don't really like him too tough, I think, so when it comes to connecting with him with the ball. I know they probably like him off the pitch, but on the pitch, sometimes you're like thinking, do you like him? But Rasmus Hoyland himself coming through, creating his own goal, you know? Lovely goal by Rasmus Hoyland. Cutting man inside out of the West Ham defender. He was seeing grass and Rasmus Hoyland finishing it off really well. Oh, the goalkeeper Ariola searching all over with his Ariola head. You know, the biggest Ariola I've ever seen. He conceded a goal. Rush Mish Hoyden making it 1 0 on his birthday. Birthday goal. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I must spend my money. That's what Rush Mish Hoyden was all about today. 1 0 Manchester United going half time into the lead. Half time, we're thinking to ourselves, yo. You better not do the shit that you did against Wolves, you know. You better make sure you come correct in the second half. And Manchester United came correct in the second half, guys. And, of course, when I mean correct, they were in control of that second half. It was a very good second half for Manchester United because it became 2-0. 2-0 for Manchester United, of course. Alejandro Gonacho, McTominay, who came on for Kobe Mainu. McTominay with the assist today. He didn't, he didn't get a goal, but he got the assist. Feeding in Gonacho. Gonacho, I mean, not, sorry guys, I take that back. Gonacho making it 2-0 for Manchester United. Of, of course, with a, with a shot deflected, but Bruno Fernandes happened to find him with a lovely cross, and Gonacho, of course, finishing it off, but taking the deflection off of the West Ham defender's back, going in, but it was on target. But then, Manchester United making it 3-0. Gonacho wasn't stopping there. As I said before, McTominay coming on for Kobe Mainu. McTominay finding the assist, slotting in Gonacho for Gonacho to finish it off really well and get his second goal of the game, making it 3-0. Gonacho, he's had a good game today. He was effective getting those two goals. We got to Alejandro and we got to the birthday boy Rajmish Hoyland. And it was 3 0 to Manchester United with a wonderful performance, a clean sheet for Andre Onana. And we can go home this weekend happy. And I'm a happy Manchester United fan. And I'm a happy Ivorian fan because the weekend has been great for me. Two victories back to back. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Back to back victories for me and at every cause and Manchester United. But let's talk about players today because Rasmus Hoyland, who was his birthday, had a good game, was involved as well, bursting into positions. Rasmus Hoyland showing himself, continuing the goal, runs four games, four goals. Rashford had a quiet game, in my opinion, but did get himself involved in the game at times. Bruno Fernandes doing what he think but giving the ball away at so many times harry Maguire came in for varan was okay but shaky at times he though he did look for the long balls diagonal balls he did find um rashford at times and of course martinez who happened to come off and and, and i have to go to the manager 
Why didn't you take off Lissandro Martinez as soon as you saw he had to come off on the side and waiting and he was hobbling? You should have taken him off and now he's injured. And that could be on the manager. Take him off straight away for precaution, my friend. Oh. Uh, Andre Onana, you can only thank God that you didn't look suspect in goal today. Casemiro doing Casemiro things and Mino did well. Big up to Kobe Mino. McTominay coming on and doing well. But the manager managed the game in the second half well. But the only problem I have the manager is that you never take enough of Lissandro Martinez. Man of the match today, guys, has to go to Alejandro Ganacho for doing well today. Um, donkey of the match, in my opinion, I'm going to have to go for Marcus Rashford. Yeah, I have everyone else, Marcus Rashford. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's nice to hear, even though we've won 3 0. But Marcus Rashford has been my donkey of the match, man. Manchester United fans, today it has been a good win. We take it one win at a time, just building ourselves up to, so we can climb up the league. Not for about four or five points away from fourth place. So it's not looking too bad looking at the table. But we take it one game at a time. It's been good performances ever since Ineos has stepped in. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, not good performance, but good results. But this last two games have been good performances. So I'm happy with that. It is what it is. Man United fans, this has been your match reaction. You let me know what your thoughts on today's game. In the comments, let me know who your man of the match is and your donkey of the match. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time for the catch up to review the game with the man. Till next time, guys, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. And like and smash like and share and smash that like button as well. And of course, share and subscribe and become a member of the family. Peace out. Your boy is out. Peace.